Heart Chicken guys, Magic Activator here back again for another episode of our Pokemon Y Wonderlock. In the last episode, we took on the Lumio City Gym Leader, we defeated Clement, and we got a brand new Sparkling Gym Badge to go along with it. And so, today we're going to be going out to Route 14 because Trevor called us up on the Holocaster and said we're going to be meeting all the friends out there. Uh, and Shauna will be there too, I'm sure. But anyway... Uh, remember that if you do enjoy today's episode, to hit that like button down below for us. Give it your magic touch because your support is greatly appreciated. Before we do anything else, let's go ahead and do a quick team recap. So, uh, up front we have got, uh, Arthur Arfurfu, level 41, rocking the Silk Scarf with Headbutt, Surf, Bite, and Charm. Next up we've got, uh, Nameless Arlampant, level 46, holding the Violite with Flame Burst, Curse, Hex, and Memento. Then we've got Smug, our superior, level 42, holding the Miracle Seed to power up its Mega Drain and Leaf Blade, also rocking Cut and Leech Seed. Next up is Bloodsucker Acrobat, level 41, rocking out with no item to power up its Acrobatics, Swift, Confuse Ray, and Bite round out the rest of its moveset. Um, next up we've got uh, Fuzzy Air Beautifly, level 44, holding the Metronome to power up Gust, Bug Buzz, Giga Drain, uh, if we use them consecutively, and also rocking Stun Spore. And last but not least, we got Splatoon, our Malamar, level 39, holding the Rocky Helmet with Payback, Psycho Cut, Foul Play, and Topsy Turvy. So, uh, in the last episode, uh, and I'm sure people were screaming at me, but in the last episode, I realized that for the past three or four episodes, um, after the last time that we grinded, I had left the experience share on. And it didn't dawn on me, like... I genuinely just forgot, like, because in the Wonderlock rules, I said that we were not going to use the experience share except for when we grind it. And since I forgot to turn it off at the end of grinding that day, I, uh, I left it on and I played through like four episodes and left the experience share on. It didn't realize it. And even though I was like seeing it on the screen and I was like, and I kept saying like, Several other mons gained a level from this battle, but it didn't register with me until the last episode that I had left it on. And the reason was because whenever I'm playing uh, in the X and Y co-op with Steve, I'm playing both those games simultaneously. Like, I'm doing both of these LPs simultaneously. And so, I, in that co-op, I'm allowed to have the experience share on, so we use it throughout the game just to make it a little bit uh, easier uh, on us so we don't have to grind as much. So, like, it was just normal for me to be seeing experience on all of our minds when I'm playing 6th gen, so I totally forgot, and that's completely my bad. So, I just said, you know, since I can't actually go back and re-record those episodes, which I totally would do, because it is kind of unfair that, I done, that I've done that, um, I'm just going to not, um, I'm just going to not grind, um, for a while at least, you know? Like... As much as I can, I'm going to try to not grind. What does this guy have to say? To make Lumio City even more beautiful, all the power lines have been laid underground. Oh, that's pretty cool. But, yeah. I So, I apologize for that. Because that was completely my bad. But, uh, we're just going to not try not to grind any more than we have to. I'd honestly like to, since since we did this, I'd like to try not to grind until, at least until we get to the uh, the Pokemon League. If we need to grind then, we might, but I'm going to try and rock out without grinding from here on out. Uh, since I did kind of mess that up, and that is a part of the rules. I'm just glad it wasn't, it was just a few episodes rather than like, you know, I'm glad I caught it when I did, you know, so we didn't go any further. But anyway, uh, hello, Meister. You arrived very quickly. You must have been nearby. Oh, hi, Meister. We were just comparing how complete our Pokedexes are. I won, of course. <laughs> Naturally. I'll leave filling out the Pokedex to you guys, Trevor. I don't... I don't like it when everyone does the same thing anyway. Oh, dang. And Meister, let's compare how many Pokemon we've seen, just like we always do. This time, let's compare how many Pokemon we've seen in the Mountain Kalos Pokedex. To put it another way, I'm challenging you to my own kind of Pokemon battle. So you've seen 16 kinds of Pokemon. I lost. How frustrating. Oh, so, you see Gibble too in Meister? Just knowing about the same Pokemon as someone else can sure make you happy. There sure are many different kinds of Pokemon in Kalos. Now, 
it's my turn. Let's have a Pokemon battle, Magic. I'm just glad Shauna's not here. I was kind of afraid Shauna was going to be here. So, yeah, we're going to rock out with uh, and try not to grind anymore. We shouldn't have to, honestly, because I I let myself... I should have, like, I should have let it... It should have dawned on me. Um, I should have, like, I guess looked over the rules and stuff. I mean, see, we're not super far ahead, I guess. We kind of are, though. <laughs> we kind of still are. Um, I probably outspeed you now. No, you faked me out. Good. Good. Rocky helmet damage. I like it. Bump that. I'm just going to go for payback anyway. You do outspeed. That's good for us, actually, because I went for payback. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I'm also going to try and use my lower level mons as much as I can. Now, if there's a situation where I'm like, yeah, we, we're not going to be able to use this thing. Like, we're going to get blown back. Uh, I might switch, but, so like, Chestnut right here. Chestnut, I can fight it. It's not the most ideal thing to fight, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it in. I'd rather go out and Crobat or something. I'm just going to leave Malamar in and try and fight with it. Because it is kind of kind of nasty that I've been gaining all that experience. So we're going to rock out. And I know I did a lot of apologizing in the last episode. And I'm apologizing again here because, you know, in case somebody missed the other episode or whatever. Um, you know what? No, I'm going to stay in. I'm going to stay in. And let's see. Because I feel like this puts us at a little bit of an unfair advantage uh, moving forward here. Like, we're kind of, we're kind of up here in levels. We're kind of up here in levels. So we'll, oh, Swords Dance, that's kind of scary. That's kind of scary. Honestly, I deserve to lose something now, I feel like. I feel like I deserve to lose something now, so. We can take advantage of this though. Quick attack. Jeez. Oh, that was a crit. That's gonna destroy you with that plus two. Absol, get out of here. So we're gonna grow to level 41. I really enjoy battling with you, but I'm getting tired of losing every time. Then quit challenge me, girl. That's all I gotta say. Don't, don't step to me. Hashtag magic cheats was what I said in the last episode, and it's kind of true because I kind of accidentally cheated throughout the entire thing. All right. Wow, that was a really intense battle. Oh, hi, Shauna. When did you start watching? Creep. So where's Tierney? Oh, he's at the fighting dojo. Really, the fighting dojo? Well, sorry I'm late, everybody. I was having so much fun with the sparring dance that I totally lost track of time. So, Tierno, you found any good Pokemon for your dance team? Yup, I sure did. I'm super close to my ideal dance team. That's good. Good for you. Hey, everybody. Let's go to the scary house. The one in Lavier City? That's just a rumor, isn't it? Come on. Let's go find out if it's a rumor. If the room is true together. Hmm, I think I'll pass. I'm sure it's just a rumor. And I want to spend some time with my Pokemon before heading to Lava Air City. Uh, okay, bye. So, uh, is it really that scary? Let's go and see for ourselves, Tierno. There's always some reason rumors like this get started. Alright, so they're going to bounce. Shauna, you're not going with me. Traveling magic? Everyone's really working hard at what they want to do. I'm just... But I'm just all about memories. I'm kind of just goofing around. Just kidding. Girl, you're so weird. You're so weird. All right. And it is raining. Let the rain fall down. So let's go ahead and... Before I do anything else... I got slide down slide. You know what I'm saying? Can I sit in the swing? Because that would be fun. 
Whoa. The, uh... The, uh... My, uh, computer seemed to have lagged there for just a minute. I hope that didn't, uh, mess things up too badly there. Um, but anyway, we're on the next route. This is a new route, which means a new encounter, Route 14. So, let's see what we can find. Let's see what we can find. And we find a Quagsire. So we're gonna try and catch this thing. You know what? You know what, though? That might have actually been why we I lost our encounter, was because of being so overleveled. Uh, but we did lose an encounter, so I guess that can kind of kind of make up make up for it. Um, but huh. I kind of want to attack you, but I'm kind of also afraid that uh, I'll go for a foul play because it's based on your attack, right? Yeah, so that'll weaken you up just a little bit. And our speed rose because they got contrary. So we are contrary. Yo, nice, nice, nice. I like it. I like it. I like it. I didn't think we were gonna be contrary because I don't remember what um what ability we were. I don't remember what ability we were as a as a Inke. But either way, contrary is not. All right, I'm not gonna heal. I'm not gonna heal. I'm just gonna throw a Pokeball. I'm gonna play risky. I will heal after this one if we don't catch it. I think we can lift another Mud Bomb though. Shoot! Don't crit. Don't crit. Don't crit. Okay. Let's see. Hyper Potion. And Slam. Didn't paralyze me. Or just Slam paralyze. <gasps> no! Rocky Helmet. I forgot. Well, rip that encounter. Rip that encounter. This is, this is a uh, payback. For the experience here. Alright, um... The game is getting its revenge. The game is getting its revenge. He would go for a physical attack that time. I didn't think about it because of the stupid, uh... I wasn't thinking about it because of the stupid, um... He was going for special attacks, so he wasn't doing physical contact. And, yeah. That's good. That's real good. So we're going to stay in. So I think the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to try and just continue to use the same Pokemon. I'm going to try and continue to use the same Pokemon until each of them get to level 45. And I'm not going to I'm not going to do any switching around unless it's like a dire situation. And that way I'm not like it's not like switch training or anything like that. We're not doing any of that. We're just straight up trying to get experience. So Ooh, I should put up a repel. I should put up a repel because the deep water does produce Pokemon. There's a Gumi, which we have. We have a Gumi. That's pretty exciting. I'd really like to add it to the team, to be completely honest. To be completely honest, I'd like to add it to the team. Let's see. Where are my super bells? There we go. So let's let's throw that up. Not throw it up like vomit it, but you know, spray one so we can uh, get over here and get a big. That was not worth. Not worth. Not worth. 
Yeah, this is pretty, uh, pretty, uh, gross. All right, so let's battle this dude. He couldn't see me. He couldn't, he wasn't. When I was in the water, I was sunk down, and I was not at eye level with them. That's that's how that works. Nash! Pokemon Ranger Nash. Shout out to you, Nash Vegas. All right. Can we destroy a Gumi? What can we do to a Gumi? You're going to be a lot slower than I am. He doesn't go for a payback. Oh, that still just did way too much damage. And the Rocky Helmet takes you out, so... Rocky Helmet coming through for us. Which is kind of nice, kind of nice, kind of nice. You're level 42. So we defeated Nash. Look at him. He's angry. Ooh. Creepy girl. Hex Maniac, right? I think that's what the, this trainer class is. Yeah, Hex Maniac, Anina. Kind of trippy, kind of trippy. Leading off with the uh, Litwick, which uh, we should be able to handle Litwick pretty well. Ironically, uh, ironically, uh, Malamar is able to put in work on this route, uh, it seems. All the uh, ghost types and whatnot. Which I'm sure there will be because um, we are uh, getting near the spooky house, the scary house, whatever it is. The rumors are true. There's a scary house here, and uh, we we're rocking and rolling. I lost. I lost. What wizardry is this? Wizardry? Well, I'm a magician, so. <laughs> All right. So we gotta go this way. Uh, why do I feel like there was items over here I missed? Alright, we're going back. We're going back. I'm sorry, I'm backtracking. You know me. I gotta find these items. There has to be an item over here, right? Yup. A cleanse tag. Hmm. Advanced tips. Pokemon with the Scrappy ability can hit ghost uh, ghost types with normal type attacks. And fighting, right? Yeah. Normal and fighting type attacks. Scrappy is a really good ability. Scrappy is a really, really good ability. That's why Mega Lopunny is so good, because it's so fast and can hit so hard. And Ghost is really the only thing that would normally... Because a ghost type would normally shut Lopunny, like Mega Lopunny down, but because of Scrappy, them ghost, them ghost types ain't got no chance, yo. Are you kidding me? He tricked me. He tucked behind this stump. He tucked behind that stump. That's kind of a, kind of a cheater. Pokemon Ranger Reed. I thought it said Ranger Red, and I was like, yo, Power Ranger Red? What? I got this Poliwhirl, which uh, I don't think you're fighting type yet. And we crit you, which is gonna destroy you. I'm sorry, Blue Jay. I didn't mean to blow you back like that. Fracture. There's a fracture in the front door. All right, let's see. Um, I'm gonna go for a foul play. You probably got a decent attack stat, yeah. Why am I critting everything? Jeez. I busted the game. I've, I've busted the game. Alright, wants to learn Slash. I think I'll keep my old mood. I ain't about learning Slash. We're critting everything anyway, so it's it's probably alright. We're probably alright. Loud Tread. See how much a Psycho Cut's doing to you. A lot. Supersonic. That's what I'm saying, though. It seems like every Mon in this game has hit their Supersonics, except for me. Like, I always seem to miss my Supersonics. They always seem to hit theirs. But it's okay. We took him out anyway. 
We took him out anyway. So, I don't remember. I don't remember exactly how long this route is, to be perfectly honest. But I, I see it. I see you, item ball. I'm coming for you. It's right over here. It's a hyper potion. That's actually handy. That's actually dandy because I'm. I have to use those. All right. Well, let's see where we're at level wise, really quick, on everybody. Try and be fair. Um, no, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch fur free to the front here for a bit. I'm also going to uh, grab my my cable and plug it into the DS because it is uh, about to go out on me there. Um, so yeah, let's let's run with uh, Arthur up front for a little bit. And I'm just gonna like leave him up there to do as much as he can. TM06 Toxic, okay. I was fully expecting you to battle me, but that works too. Like, I'm cool with that. Wait, can I not? Oh, I have to surf here? I forgot about that. Luckily, uh, Arthur is our surfer, so. We got a damp rock. Damp rock. All right, so surf on back. Surfing in a swamp. That's pretty cool, though. I don't think that's really been done in other Pokemon games before. Oh. Come on, this way! Ah, oh, jeez. So this is the house. It is a scary house, isn't it? Well, I guess we should go inside. What? You're going inside? Are you all serious? Serena is off spending time with her Pokemon, so I guess we'll just have to go in without her and see if the rumors are true by ourselves. I guess so. Let's go inside by ourselves then. Oh boy. Let's get started then. It was a dark and stormy night, many years ago. Lost, I arrived at this house and went inside. The lights would not turn on, so I fearfully looked around the house. Eventually, I made my way into the kitchen. There was no sign of anyone being here. I found the fridge, and when I opened it, a faint light leaked out. I could, really, I could finally make out my surroundings and I saw the faint outline of a man huddling in the corner of the room. I tried to tell him that I was lost and was hoping he'd let me stay until morning. But when I approached him, the man suddenly screamed, Stay back! I apologized and continued to plead my case. Please, can't you help me? I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you, he shouted. I looked at the man in surprise. When I did this, the man asked me, can't you see them behind you? A horde of faceless men! Now then, since I told you a wonderful, a wonderful story that will always haunt you, would you be so kind as to tip me? If you don't, you might see something really scary. You're charging us? Even haunted houses aren't free, you know. Nah, bruh. Jeez, let's get out of here! Huh? Is it over already? I wasn't really listening. Was that story you just told us really true? Uh... Ah! I guess it really was a scary house in a way. Well... I know you wanted to go camping, and that was kind of like camping, I guess. People usually tell scary stories by a campfire, right? Well, I've had enough of dark places and scary things. I'd rather rehearse my dance, my dances. I'll see you all later. So he's gonna bounce. What should I do next? I guess I'll go to Lavier City. Uh, see you later, Magic. Please compare Pokedexes with me again soon. 
Bruh, I, I'm not into our weird Pokedex battles. It's not my cup of tea. I'm gonna go back in here. Because was there an item? I feel like there's an item in the fireplace. Maybe not. Let's use another repel. So that guy's there. Wait, let me go talk to him. Does he give me an item, maybe? Some things are best left unknown. The truth is best carried to the grave. So that was fun. But let's go over here and scoop up this item. And it is a spell tag, which is cool. And uh, fun, I'm gonna break the fourth wall here for a second because I'm, as I'm recording this, my, I keep looking over at my phone because my phone is uh, going off because you guys are apparently watching <laughs> watching uh, one of the episodes of the Wonderlock and are commenting. So uh, shout out to you guys. Uh, like, honestly, though, like, for real, you guys have, the support on this series has been, uh, crazy awesome, but we've made it to Levere City, so, I think, with that in mind, I'm going to, uh, wrap up this episode right here. Well, before I do that, before I do that, let's go in here, because why not, let's, let's go in here and see if there's any, um, rad clothes that we could buy. Yo, striped shirt combo, that purple shirt, though. I dig, I dig, I dig. Um, we got the boots. We got the black V-neck. Ooh. That's pretty sweet. Um, we got the green bag. Um, hold on, let's go in here, yo. Let's go. Uh, I don't need another repel now, but let's go in here. Because it's been a while since, you know, we, we changed up our look a little bit. Um, so you know what? Let's rock. You know what? I kind of, I kind of dig it. Let's look at, let's look at the shoes really quick. Short boots, short boots red. Nah, man. Uh, ankle socks purple. Oh yeah, I already had. I bought those. Um, let's see, skinny jeans. We're gonna rock out with the brown, the brown ones. And let's see, do I want to, uh... nah, we'll, we'll keep the old bag. We'll keep the old bag. So let's, uh, let's go back to the two-tone bag and then let's, uh, yeah, let's change. I like it. Let's rock the purple shirt for a while. Hmm. I should maybe uh sure. Uh, oh, I should probably get the black hat as well. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the black hat. Let me grab the black hat really quick. There we go. And I don't really want the feather thing. I'm not into that. So, yeah, let's get this hat. Because that'll look a little bit better uh, than, I think, than the red hat. Accessorizing, you know what I mean? But anyway, with that being said, um, we are going to wrap up this episode. Uh, I guess I can talk to these guys uh, as, I'm, as I'm closing out. Uh, in the next episode, we will continue along uh, exploring uh, Levere City. Um, we got some plot things coming up, I'm sure, as well as some exploring that we can do. So, for now, guys, I'm going to make like an Abra and get out of here. Hope you enjoyed this episode, as always. Um, but have yourselves a good day. Stay cool, and we'll catch you next time. I said that backwards for some reason. Oh, well.